Wednesday night fights from the Mahi Shrine Auditorium in Miami. Yori Boy Campus feels that he still has the punch, skill, and will to compete. Former titleist in our main event takes on Aramosele Albert in a 10-round junior middleweight bout. Aramosele Albert, no young gun himself at 32, 19 and 1 as a pro, has a height advantage by three inches at six foot tall. Got a late start to his pro career, stayed in the amateur so he could compete in two Olympic games for his native Nigeria. In fact, has an amazing total, 568 amateur bouts. That's unbelievable. And here stateside, he's had great experiences in the gym. I got to prove to the world I'm good and maybe better than most top 10 guys out there because I feel most of these guys, you know, I beat them easy. Like uh, Ricardo, I was sparring with uh, Ricardo Mayoga, one, two rounds, he quits sparring. I was sparring with Jamin Taylor, uh, Fernando Vargas, um, Oscar De La Hoya, and Bernardo Hopkins. And I do really good against this guy because uh, when I spar with them, they really take it to be a war. And, you know, so I feel, you know, me beating this guy, you know, you know put me up there. Digging the outfit there, that's his formal wear lace outfit from Nigeria. There is a man who's 19 years into his pro career, Yori Boy Campus, coming off a war with unbeaten prospect Irish John Duddy. That was a very competitive fight. Campus has faced so many greats, Trinidad, Vargas, De La Hoya, 97 career fights, 88-9. But he says this is actually his 100th career fight because of some unreported bouts in Mexico. And Yuri also says, don't discount him at this late stage of his career. Well, you know, I still have uh, the punching power, the knowledge that I uh, learned in, in 100 fights. I still got some skills, resistance. I throw a lot of punches. I uh, lived a good life. I have uh, no bad habits, you know, I, I live with my family, take care of my family, and I think I can still be a good fighter and uh, become a champion again. Former IBF 154-pound champion, he won that title in 97, then lost it to Vargas in 98. Teddy Atlas gets a set with the fight plan. When you're watching a campus fight, you know you're going to get three things. Experience, almost 100 fights. You're going to get aggression. Our fans like that. And you're going to get this, a left hook. Against his opponent, Albert, there's going to be a home for that left hook downstairs to the body. Look at how Albert, he comes forward. You don't have to look for him. And he keeps his elbows out. Does not protect downstairs. Look for campus. Upstairs, downstairs. Look for him to work that hook, especially downstairs, all night long. For Albert tonight, part of winning a fight, especially against an experienced fighter like Campos, is knowing what to expect. He knows he's going to expect left hooks, as we just talked about, from Campos. But what he has to really take advantage of is when Campos, who Saul will play, gets inside. He works inside that left hook, but then he's got a bad habit of pulling out. Right there is where Albert has to be prepared to punch. Campos will give him that opportunity. Yes, he'll be inside, but yes, he'll pull out right in front. Look for Albert to score big when Campos pulls out. Ten-round fight. You see promoter Roberto Duran giving his last words to Campos. The instructions. I want to remind you, this audience paid to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch him up. Tommy Kimmins, the referee, the just for men hair yeah. color ring experience. Good luck matching up ring experience with Yori Boy Campus. 20 Thank year you, pro, 519 total rounds. Yes, Joe. Campus. The great, great experience of 97 fights, but a place where Albert can make up for some of that experience in the amateur. Two-time Olympian representing Nigeria in the 96 games and the 2000 games. You ready for this number? Reportedly, over 500 amateur fights for Albert. So that's one place. Don't feel sorry for him right now and start a benefit because he's the poor little guy in there with campus with 97 pro fights. Albert, plenty of experience.
That is a huge number of amateur fights. You know, many times we hear of the some of the old Soviet fighters, the amateur fighters who fought 300 amateur bouts, but 568. Very passionate about doing well for his country. Combination punching on the inside gets the warning from Tommy Kibbins to get the punches up. What you can see already early on, you can catch Campa's coming and going. He comes straight in, you can catch him on the way in if you punch, and you can catch him, as we said in the fight plan, when he pulls out. Right there. Albert active early here, threw 43 punches in the opening minute of this fight. Short right hand on the inside against Yori Boyd, lands it there again. Watch the He's elbows. letting the hands go with his back against the ropes. Watch the elbows of Albert. They stick out, as you can see. And Campos trying to go behind that elbow downstairs. One of the favorite places to aim his punches for Campos to the belly. Right now, early on, it's Albert who's showing us choices, more dimensions, moving a little bit, fighting inside, but also using the ring. Campus, one way. Here I come. Straight ahead, and he's been doing so with uppercuts on the inside, just fired well off and left hooks to the body. But Albert has been very active, willing to throw. There's that right uppercut by Yori Boy. You know, when you go to an amusement park, you have to purchase a ticket and hand it to the ticket man before you get on the ride. Right now, it's up to Albert to make sure he charges a ticket to Campus every time he comes forward. He must punch and not give Campus a free ride coming in. Right there, you can see Albert moving his hands as Campus comes straight forward. He's issued over 100 tickets so far in this first round. Throwing over 105 punches is the Nigerian no pressure, no native, pressure. Aaron Morselli, Albert. When you've been around 19 and a half years, as Campus has been around, Joe, expect to see some scar tissue around the eyes. Campus has been cut over both eyes. Good looking first round between these two. More to come on Wednesday night fights. Good looking main event on Wednesday night fights from Miami. Next week we will be in Montreal, one of the real underrated fight towns around for Wednesday night fights presented by Just for Men. Adrian Diakonu takes on Rico Hoy, and those fight cards in Montreal are usually stacked. So tune in for Wednesday night fights next week from Montreal. Round number two between Albert and Compass. In the first round, they combined to throw 211 punches. Aramoselli Albert in the black trunks threw 120. 29 of them, and he's not slowing down at all here in the early goings of round two. Campus has been involved in many fights where there are head clashes. Both these fighters' heads have touched already. Again, the elbows of Albert stick out. Look for the left hook of Campus to stick in. Although Albert concentrating also on the body, which he likes to go to, I think he's hurting himself by only going to the body. And I love guys that go to the body, but I think he's missing the boat a little bit by not punching to the head as Campus walks straight in. Watch Campus come in. And again, nothing to the head from Albert. Uppercut by Albert. Now There's an here. right hand uppercut. Now he's on the inside. On the inside. Once he gets inside, he pulls out and he eats that jab. Gets to the inside here. Let's see what he does. Albert, the much busier man. Just out working him at this point. Left hook misses. Tries to go downstairs and is blocked by the right hand of Albert. Albert figures out fight fire with fire. Campos likes to go downstairs. I will go downstairs. Again, a clash of heads. We're going to see a lot of that tonight with this style of fighters. Let his arm go. Albert has landed 27 more body punches than Yori Boy.
Gilbert made that comment to us when we asked him stylistically, game plan wise, what's your approach? He said 60% of all my punches thrown will be to the body. And you know, again, I'm going to say it again. I love body punching. And when you start early, you're going to pay off late. But Albert missed the boat uh, by not punching to the head Anytime. as Campos comes in. You know, Albert complained of that being low. I don't know about that. It looked like it was maybe on the side of the belt line. But you if he's already complaining early ready, on, you let me know, okay? There's going to be a hey, lot more of that from your boy. Are you ready? Well, that's all you okay. have to tell hey, somebody that has Go. nearly 100 fights and been around almost 20 years. Just let them know that you don't like it in a certain area, and you can be sure there'll be a lot of deliveries in that area. Okay, you may as well just painted a big target there. Coming to the end of round number two, Errol Masoli Albert and Yorba Campos on Wednesday night fights. Let's take a look at the low blow here from the last round. Technically, yes, low, but right there you could see it on the A of Albert. On the side, but not in the middle, in the groin area. And behind that A and that felt is a protector. Your boy Campus, a little more active to start this third round. Average punches landed through two. Big numbers by Albert. Now Albert utilizing that right uppercut. Center of the ring, and they're exchanging. Three punch combination. Goes downstairs, then brings it back upstairs, does Albert, and he lands flush that time. Your boy comes back with a right uppercut of his own. Two games going on right now. The fast, busy game of the less experienced outfit. And the more calculating, placing punches, making a count game of Campos. Albert with a 1-2 upstairs as Campos just time after time after time looks to place that left hook to the body. Again, the busy game of Albert being slowed down the placing game, the game of placing punches to areas that count and making the punches mean more by Campus. He's seen this before, Campus. Guys that come in there he full of energy, full of vigor, but he knows what counts is what you do as the rounds go on. Campus figures he'll slow down after as the rounds go on. Keep working, guys. Get out there on your own. Don't hold him. Campus, let him go. Sometimes it's not good to start off that fast like Albert Joe. Not only do you burn up a lot of energy, if you can't keep that pace up, and very few fighters can, especially with an experienced guy like Campus, you start to slow down. It's like putting up a flag to your opponent. Things are changing. Right now, the quick, busy hands of Albert are serving him. No, 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 no. And right now, serving Campos is his forte, the punch that he has always gone to, the left hook to the body. Good looking fight. Up, Real up, good looking up. fight. When I see a fight like this with a guy who hasn't been tested like Albert against a guy who has been Don't tested him, like Campus, I see Albert there. come out this fast. The first thing in my mind is how will stop, stop, Albert stop. be behaving no, as the rounds go on? No. Hey, hey, Tommy don't Kevin's pull him here. You got me? Give me gloves. Let's go. Final seconds here of ah. this third round. It's getting interesting, isn't it? The old veteran still has a little gas in the gas tank, doesn't he? Yuri Boy Campus, of course, going back to 2003, he fought this man, the Golden Boy. Now the Golden Boy on the precipice of a legacy-defining fight, and we asked Yuri Boy who he thinks is going to win it. I'll take De La Hoya in this fight. I mean, he still has a lot of things left. Um, he's fast, intelligent. He's, he must come to this fight well prepared, though. Four years ago, when he fought him, the early rounds were fairly close against De La Hoya, but Oscar took over. He was too fast, was too good on the inside, and Yuri Boy was TKO'd in the seventh round. Let's go, 88 and 9.
in his 19-year career, coming off an absolute war against the unbeaten prospect John Duddy. A fight that could have gone either way. There were moments where it looked like Duddy was in serious trouble. And now your boy still going at it against the very game two-time Olympian Aramoselli Albert, round four. Albert's only lost a 12-round majority decision, so he could easily be undefeated. Albert has been on the floor in his career. Don't play, Jury don't play. Boy would love to put him on the floor, courtesy of a left hook downstairs. Now this is where you need to watch. Inside, good for Yuri Boy, but then he pulls out. That's where Albert must do more of that. Just did it with two jabs and then tried to come with the right hand. Now back to the inside. There's that left hook again. Three, four times. Right hand to the body from Albert. Digging in, sends a right uppercut inside. Comes with a right hand to the body. Another uppercut lands for Albert. Double left hook for Yori Boy. Again, the punch numbers may be belonging to Albert, but the punches, the hard punches, belonging to Calvice. 444 and counting for Albert, but those left hooks. What effect will they have in the later going of this fight? And a lunging left hook, but that time Kalfish gets hit by an uppercut on the back end. When you've been around as long as Kalfish has been around, you oh, learn God, not to guy. waste energy. He must be thinking Albert is wasting energy in his mind. Kemp is trying to make everything count. Again, opportunities for Albert Joe to catch Campos coming forward and then going out. This is the kind of fight that if I was in the corner of Campos, if I was one of his people, I would have spent some time talking to the officials yesterday saying, I hope you respect body punching. A lot of the scoring by Kampas has been Every downstairs. Seconds, and this is one no of those fights that just watching it, you can't believe there are six more rounds of this. Off to a great start in Miami. Let's Action go. from the last round. Again, Kampa is getting caught on the way in. He delivers the left hook, but then he falls out a little bit. And as he falls out, he gets caught some leather. Round number five, alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. The average head shots landed for round four. Albert 40, Pampas 17. Of course, it's been the left hooks to the body that have been doing the damage for Yuri Boy. Teddy Atlas's scorecard, 39-37 for Albert. This time, he sends a right hand to the body. Uppercut from Albert. He's been fairly effective with that. When a man lays in front of you with his gloves up, you may not catch him the hook, but you can split the guard up the middle with the uppercut. Albert has been splitting the guard of Campos. a right hand uppercut again from Albert. Albert be well served to put punches together. Watch the way the experienced Campos can see things and he moves the gloves around Joe to block punches. He'll take his right glove and move it over to the left side to block the right hand. Sometimes underneath to try to block the uppercut. When a man's moving his gloves around to block, you want to put punches together on him. He cannot move his hands quick enough to block combinations. Get him out of position with his hands. Combination by both.
both men. Albert landed the last punch of that sequence. It was a right hand. Watch the glove placement on the inside of Campos. He will move his gloves to block. Drop his hands to block to the body. Right now you can see moving those gloves. If Albert puts the punches together, he will find an open space where the gloves cannot get back in time. They both opened up that time with the left hooks. Now Yori Boy is back against the ropes and Albert just keeps punching and punching. No, no, fifth no. round of the fight, Second fifth time. round Don't in which he has thrown Don't over 100 again. punches. Let's go. And Let's as go. Albert continues punching and punching, as you say, Campus continues to try to find the mark and make whatever he throws count the most he can. Good stuff from Miami. The beat goes on. End of five. Danny Milano, the cut man, dealing with a cut just above the right eye of Yuri Boy. It opened up in that finishing sequence of that fifth round. But Milano was right on top of it, trying to apply a lot of pressure in the 60 seconds he had to work with. We will see how it holds up here as we start the second half of this scheduled 10 rounder. Round number six here on Wednesday Night Fights, presented by Just for Men Hair Color. That cut over Kappa's eye, not a new experience for the veteran. As we said early on, plenty of scar tissue over the eyes of Campus. No surprise that that scar tissue would open. There was a moment at the end of the fifth round where Yori Boy complained of a clash of heads. We're going to try to find out if that's what caused the cut according to the Florida Commission. Albert flurries and then finishes up top. Again, while Albert flurries and shows the ability to throw quicker, more plentiful punches, Campus plods in and looks to place one or two shots. Again, opportunities will come from the inside as Campos pulls straight back. Watch right here as he pulls back straight right into the line of fire of Albert. Final work ringside by our Saul Avalar tells us that the commission is ruling that that was a clash of heads that caused the cut above the right eye. So that's good news for Yuri Boy. Bad news is he still has to the cut. And I don't know if this is good news, but he's had, as I said earlier, lots of experience dealing with cuts. Matter of fact, he deals with cuts so much that I think he has taught his blood to bleed slowly. <laughs> educated left hands, and now we have educated blood platelets. Punch track numbers. See the headshots. Albert, very impressive numbers tonight. Throwing over 500 headshots. He's thrown over 700 total punches. All the punch numbers by Albert. He has choices. He's decided to go into the den of campus. And we don't mind, our fans don't mind. But he can go outside. And he can do it in other ways that campus cannot do it. And he has scored here at range with right hands at the end of round number six, getting the fans excited in Miami. our host of the evening, the all-time great Roberto Duran. And earlier tonight here in Miami, he was presented with an honorary belt from the Seminole Tribe to represent what's going to be a very special next month for Roberto Duran when he will be enshrined in the Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota. Roberto Duran. You know, Teddy, 
we recently had a discussion talking about the top 50 fighters of all time, and you and I were asked for the top five. This is a guy that I think is grossly underrated in having that conversation. When you talk about what he accomplished for such a sustained period of time and going through so many different weight classes, truly you can make arguments for Roberto Duran among the top five fighters of all time. You will get an argument over here, and he's not underestimated in my camp. One of the great fighters of all time, one of the great lightweights of all time. Round number seven. Look at the punches in round six from Aramoselli Albert in the black trunks. That is his lowest output in terms of thrown punches, but perhaps one of his best rounds. He was very effective in that sixth round. If things were to turn, things were to change, this would be about the time where a veteran of almost 20 years would start turning it with a less experienced fighter. And a less experienced fighter who to this point has kept his punch numbers very high and maybe has burned a little too fast. We will see. That veteran of nearly 20 years, Yori Boy in the red trunks, has been eating a few right hands in the past three minutes. Again, maybe Albert taking a little bit of a break this round and having the options, the ability to take that break by doing things Campos cannot do, moving on the outside and boxing a little bit. In a consistent way to catch an opponent, you're happy, Joe. Albert has two opportunities all night long. Again, you can catch Campos as he comes to you, and you can catch him as he goes out from you. Keep hands off the road. What's up, man? Let's go. Upper cut on the inside was off the mark from Albert. And you can see Yori Boy trying to get back to that body work here in the back half of the seventh round. Corner of Hermoselli Albert looking for him to finish strong in his last 10 seconds. They are urging him on. Crowd has been all night long. End of seven. Round eight here in Miami. Two guys who have come to the States for Yori Boy years ago from Mexico to pursue his career at the highest level. Or Aramiselli Albert came over from Nigeria, lives here in Miami. You can tell he's got lots of support. And I want to say a special happy birthday to one of our regular fans, Teddy, who came over here from Italy in the 1950s with eight children and turned 90 today. Nicolina Miranda just happens to be my grandmother. And she watches us every Wednesday and Friday at age 90. Happy birthday, Grandma. Congratulations. Three rounds to go here in Miami. Albert took two and a half years off in 2003. He was frustrated with the course of his career. But he's been on the comeback trail since 05. Right uppercut on the inside. And the chance of Albert, Albert go up here. You know, inspired to, he goes to the head and scores well. If you had an old car, and I've talked about this before, and campers could be described as an old car, you want to take it out on weekends. If you take it out, you want to take it for a little casual driving. What you don't want to do is take it on the highway and start going 80, 90 miles an hour. Albert has taken campers' car on the highway, and he's got it going 80, 90 miles an hour, and I just don't know if the gaskets can hold up. You find that out at a certain point. Let him go. Campers looking for an oil change right about now, slowing down dramatically, starting to fall in. Now would be a good opportunity. You have to know. You know, Kenny Rogers said in that song, 
You know when to hold him, when to fold him. Well, Albert has to know when to step back a little bit. He's been coming forward. If he steps back and allows Campos to fall into an uppercut, he can score very large. And you can see it's on the mind of Albert. Stepping back, feeling the body of Campos, feeling that he's starting to fall forward a little bit, and looking to step back and catch Campos falling in. comes back in exchange from Yuri Boy. Two rounds to go from Miami. Sometimes I can see. You want to see what experience can do for you? Watch Campos here as he leans his face into the back of the neck of Albert. You know what he's doing right there? Wiping the blood out of his nose and out of his eyes. That's what experience will do for you. Human handkerchief he made out of Aramiselli Albert. Reminds me of a fight years ago. I believe it was Jorge Barrios versus Asselino Freitas, where every time the referee came in to break them, Barrios tried to wipe his eyes, cut eye on the referee's shoulder. When you calm, when you calm in that ring, or when you calm in any place that you make a living, you can do many, many things. That is just one of them. Stretch run of this 10 round main event. They started off with blistering paces. In fact, Aramiselli Albert in the black trunks threw over 100 punches in the first five rounds. Only one round since that point. And again, anytime Albert feels like it, Joe, and this is a great asset, a great gift, he can take it outside, walk around a little bit, and do some boxing, something that Campos does not have the ability to do. That's what Campos can do right there, is land a left hook on the inside. Right hand behind the jab from Albert. Falls back to the inside. Willing to work just a little more now. The elbows of Albert still protrude a little bit from his body. But the left hooks to take advantage of that protruding have slowed down from Campos. 35 years old, 19 years into his pro career, Yori Boy. Had the IBF junior middleweight title back in 97. To speak to that point, Joe, Kampa is only three years older than Albert, but many punches older. Oh, so many more, especially the pro game compared to the amateur game. While Campos was in the meat of his career, Albert was still taking part in amateur competitions where the going is not as brutal as this. It is not the hurt game. Sometimes Albert does not wait for Campos to pull out. He pushes them out to get leverage, to get distance, to do that. Final round will be coming your way. Stay with us. Could it be the end of the road for Joy Boy Campus, the former world champion? 88 wins in his long-standing career. Now facing the final round against Aramoselli Albert, a Nigerian native who took part in two Olympics, who has had a long road of desire himself. It started when his dad took him when he was 10 years old and made him run 16 miles barefoot back in Nigeria. Welcome to boxing. Teddy Atlas's scorecard.
With one round to go, it has been all Aramiselli Albert. Loose tape on the left glove of Coppers. You see when the action is stopped to replace that tape, and it is stopped right now. Come on. Danny Milano coming up as Tommy Timmons brings over the Glory Boy. Come over here, over here. Time! Let's go. Let's look at the punch track numbers. Total punches. He is going over 1,000 as Albert. Ten round fight, pretty easy to do the math. He's averaging over 100 punches thrown per round. There are some lumps on the head of Albert from the continual headbanging on the inside. Oh, you freeze. Your Around hands the are forehead, forehead, the right side of Albert, you can see swelling. He will not be bothered by that later tonight as he applies ice to it, as long as he gets that W over the former world champion. Makes things feel better, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So we got a cut. Above the right eye of your boy that was caused by a clash of heads that out, guys. has been taken out, care of. And Albert with the lumps and the swelling here in the later stages of this fight around the forehead. All that action on the inside. You can see the clash of heads rubbing up against each other can cause that. Stop! No question. Break clean. One step back. One step back. Now let's go. Albert has slowed down a little bit from that torrid pace that he had the first three quarters of the fight. But Yuri Boy has not sped up. Right hand up top, a little flurry misses when he tries to finish with the left hook. Now he comes back with a three punch combination that included the right uppercut. Oh, let's go. Ten seconds, guys. Final moments. Time. Aramoselli Albert has reason to celebrate. We will come back and hear from the judges, see if they agree. Stay with us. More Wednesday night fights from Miami. Welcome back to Miami. Teddy, let's take a look back at our main event between Aramoselli Albert and Yori Boy Campus. From the first round on, Albert wasted no time in introducing himself to Campus and wasted no time showing that he had the quicker hands and the busier hands for the most part. As round after round, you didn't have to look for either one of these fighters right in front of you. And at the end, the man who thought he got the win is the man who we thought was the busier guy all night long, Mr. Albert. Punch track fight recap is brought to you by Just For Men Hair Color. And you can see the numbers heavily favoring Aramoselli Albert throwing over 1,000 punches, landing an enormous total of 469. Teddy Atlas's scorecard, it was pretty easy to read. They went after it early on, back and forth a bit, but then Albert kept going forward 99-91. For the official decision, we sent it up to the ring to Bob Alexander. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mahi Shrine Auditorium in Miami, Florida, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Judges Michael Pernick and Peter Tremetera both score the bout 99-91. Judge John Rupert scores the bout 97-93. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Eramosoli, Bad Boy Albert. 
Shelly Albert, 20th win of his career. Could it be the end of the road for Yori Boy? He has now lost two straight. We will have more live fight action when we return to Wednesday Night Fights from the Mahi Shrine Auditorium in Miami.